All right, this is November 7th, Saturday, and it's 85 degrees, at least 85 degrees out right now. We need some cooler temperatures during the day to make this much more, much easier to work. This is ridiculous. You know, when you're in hot weather all the time, it wears on you, just like too much cold. We need to get some cooler temperatures so that I can work without dying out here. So today I'm removing a line of mesquite trees from the back side of the pond. I'm doing this so that I can have easy access around the perimeter. This pond is ultimately going to be stocked with catfish and bass, and I want to be able to fish from any side of the pond. It also will allow me to maintain the pond more easily if I need to get to a certain part of the pond. Later on in this video, I'll be doing some excavating of the dirt because as you'll see, I have big plans for the expansion of this pond. I'm telling you, if you want to get exercise, try some manual sawing on some trees and you'll uh, get fit quick. Here, put it in the sunlight. Oh. That guy was in the pond, fished him out. He was flapping on the top. I don't know if if they're laying eggs or if it just got stuck. It looks like its wing is kind no, of No, it's a male out. one. The females should have an egg sac on both sides. Mm. And you will see them in the water. All right, so my uh, inflatable tire for the um, dirt cart got a hole in it. Uh, it's one of those inner tube tires. What I found is, is that one of the uh, thorns got in there. You can see there. And so what I did is I bought some tubeless tires, wheels, you can see right here. And so I'm gonna replace that one, one wheel with one of these. And these are just plastic wheels, don't have any air in them. And I got three of them. So there's the other two right there. And I guess as the other ones get holes and lose air, I'm gonna just replace them out with these tubeless ones so that I don't have to deal with replacing the tubes all the time. Well, I broke down and got a Greenworks uh, electric uh, chainsaw and uh, I had a, a gas chainsaw, but that thing was really giving me issues and it would sometimes start, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, so I finally decided to just get an electric one. Don't have to start it up. All you do is charge the battery and you're good to go. And uh, so we're gonna be cutting some of these trees down with uh, the electric chainsaw today. All right, so we've cleared out this line of trees here. So this is the look from this side here. And next up, what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of excavating, continue that project. I'm assuming that this is probably gonna take a minimum of probably four months to, to do what I wanna do, probably more like six, because it's gonna be about, maybe three quarters of an acre pond 
I'm thinking, but we'll see how realistic that is. All right, let's go on over to the excavator and get it unwrapped and started up. Okay, so that's the end of this video. In the next video, you'll see that I got smart and finally purchased an ATV to help me haul away the dirt. If you haven't seen my previous videos, check those out too so that you have some background on what I've done so far. And make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified of new videos as I upload them. Until then, take care and I'll see you on the next video.